Hello and thanks for watching this video. So this is showing how we can use D flat to add music to a game. Um, as the uh, the little title on the screen shows, I've already loaded the I've already loaded a version of Tetris, but I've added some music to it. Uh, so let's let the game fire up. And um, so this is um, a game that I've built in D flat. Um, I've already got a demo of this elsewhere, so I'm not trying to show you the game. But what I want to do show is the the music. So this is called Hot Butter by a band called Popcorn um, from the 70s, I think. Um, an annoying little tune, but I thought one that can show how a simple tune can be played in repeats. Uh, at the same time as uh, a game is playing so at the bottom we've got a scrolly message thing and then we've got the music in the background and we have the shape dropping down at a certain speed but it can be controlled by the joystick at a different speed so all of this is done using a central game loop with different timers to execute different parts of the game so there's a timer that controls uh, when we scroll the message, another timer that controls the drop speed of the shape, another timer that controls uh, checking joystick input, and now I've added another timer and a routine to check whether to play some music or not. So uh, all I've done is used um, the, the built-in commands of D flat to be able to play a note um, at a certain note an octave, and um, and then use the timer to decide when to play the next note. So um, I think it shows how uh, lean D flat is because all of this is done using the built-in language. No additional uh, native machine language or anything like that. It's all interpreted. Um, so it's quite equivalent to an early 80s basic. Um, the one, one thing that D flat does have in terms of constraints is uh, no floating point um, handling. So that does help a lot with the speed of D flat. So rather than um, having to have a packed uh, floating point representation uh, I'm just using two byte integers for all uh, numbers and therefore the arithmetic uh, and other sort of logic uh, uh, routines of D flat are, are very straightforward uh, but nevertheless I think it's still fairly representative of the kind of early basics such as the original Apple basic and the original Acorn basics uh, that one would uh, one would have found. Um, so uh, on top of that, of course, with D flat, I can also have these uh, additional uh, native sound and graphics handling features. So um, yeah, um, before it gets too annoying, I'll stop that now. Um, so thank you very much for watching this video.